Hey guys, it's Laptop Laura, and this is Copy That Pops. Writing tips and psychology hacks applied to online biz success. Whoa, oh, 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 here we go. Welcome, welcome to the show. I'm Laura Peterson or Laptop Laura on social media, and I'm so excited that you're here today for a quick copy tip. So at Social Media Marketing World this past March, I went to a session with Ray Edwards, who is a great copywriter. And one thing that he said during his presentation is, quote, there is no copy that is too long. There is only copy that is too boring. (laughs) And I a thousand percent agree. People often ask me, how long should my book be? How long should my blog article be? How long should this email be? Or how long should my bio be? We all kind of obsess on what is the perfect length for a piece of writing. And I usually answer something like, as long as it takes to deliver value to the intended reader or audience. But the shorter you can do that, the better. And another fun quote on that principle about shorter the better is, I would have written you a shorter letter if I had more time. That quote has been attributed to people like Mark Twain, George Bernard Shaw, Blaise Pascal, Winston Churchill, Benjamin Franklin, and a lot of people in addition. So who knows who really said it at all or first, but it does lend evidence to the fact that writing both well and briefly is harder. Great writing and editing is actually the cutting away of the unnecessary, but don't let that overwhelm you. The more you do it, the better you get at writing succinctly and well. It really is a practice makes perfect sort of thing. So if you don't feel like you're a strong writer right now, all hope is not lost. It's not a gift that one is born with. I believe it is a skill that can be honed. But to succinctly come back to answer the posed question of this quick copy tip podcast episode of how long should my copy, blog, book, or writing be, keep these three things in mind. Number one, shorter the better. Number two, ensure it delivers value to the intended audience. And number three, don't let it be boring. With these three simple things in mind, you can't go wrong. And would you like me to go even more in depth on any or all of these three items in a future episode? Ring in and let me know. You can shoot me a quick email at laura at copythatpops.com with your feedback or find me on all the socials at Laptop Laura. And as always, make sure to head back to copythatpops.com for more great blogs, podcast episodes, and even book that pops writing resources like my signature accelerator program. I am here to help you with all things improving your writing, especially books. (laughs) Well, I will talk to you again next time when we'll uncover more ways to keep on writing copy that pops. Thanks so much for listening. Let's keep the conversation going. You can find more at copythatpops.com and I'm at Laptop Laura on all the socials. Sometimes we find the greatest things in